Hello there. Okay, today is uh, another day to code. Oh, I haven't done my hair completely. Hmm. Whatever. Whatever. Not that important. The code is not getting better if I make my hair, uh, style my hair. So whatever. <clears throat> um, today, let's see a beautiful cat here. Yeah. She's a little bit more shy. She's more playful. But she's actually very fine with me touching her and yeah. She's, she has been here two months, so we who knows how he's uh, how she is going to be in um a, a year or so. But yeah, she's more on the on the white side of things. So yeah. And if I open my nuts, I have some um these are not peanuts here, these are pistachios here. I don't know which what they are called. They are, my cats are getting excited right now. Luna is uh, uh, also on my desk now. And she's she's camping at the nut, nuts when they are spawn camping them. Um, I didn't know that the cat liked nuts that much. But and, um, Miri certainly does. She eats, she eats uh, nuts. She's really going nuts for nuts. Um, and the nuts are not really good cat food. It's okay. They are not toxic for cats, but they're also not good for them. And I don't don't want uh, them to see nuts as a treat. So in the future, I probably am, am not going to, to buy any uh, small nuts anymore. Because when, when my cat, cats uh, think that's uh, some kind of food, that I'm not giving them. Uh, gi uh, giving them. And it's kind of bad for their mental health, I guess. So... I will get over that. The smaller nuts are not um, are not health that healthy. It's more the bigger nuts that are that are good for your um, daily meals. <laughs> and yeah, well, that's another topic: daily meals, um, weight control. I'm I'm all, always doing a lot on that part, but that's not what this stream is about. It's more about um, cats. Uh, coding, coding. It's about coding. Okay, let's go. So, um, the music is a little bit louder than I thought it is. Uh, this, this is the full playlist. So, yeah, um, I, I just took took a lot of time and picked out um, as many um, gaming gaming covers, um, metal gaming covers um, that I could find and put them in, uh, just took them down from YouTube, put them in the playlist and now I have a nice playlist over there. Took me a long, long time and, this was, um, and I knew that it would take a lot of time. That was why I, that is why I was very hesitant with doing that. But now that I have it, it's really cool. And I have new headphones, and the headphones are really, really amazing. Like, I was putting on my he headphones and um, hearing that music for the first time, and I was just amazed. Um, let's go. So, f today we've basically finished our code here. And what we actually want to want to do, oh, I forgot to, to 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 make a new copy of my game because I wanted to to include a new library. Um, yeah, so that's that's a little bit um, bad. Also, because I'm still not on GitHub and I have to to um, write GitHub support again and hope that they don't don't say, hey, this guy's spamming us. Just to get his account uh, right, because I have problems with logging in, because the email address that I uh, used to verify myself does not exist anymore. Uh, has been changed by my university. It was an university email address, and they ch they changed it, but I completely forgot that I had it on GitHub, and now GitHub wants me to ver verify with that email address, and that's quite a pain. Because uh, I, I've been trying to to get this project on GitHub for quite some time. So, <clears throat> what are we doing today is nothing else than 
um, making this whole level look beautiful. And this is really, um, really a nice work. I will not um, stream for too long today because I uh, I want to um, attend to for, uh, some protests in the afternoon. But um, I hope I, that I can get through the whole level. I think that's a good goal for today. Just go through the whole level. Remember what what kind of um, what kind of um, procedure I use to to remake this fast because I've been I've been um, really working hard on making this whole procedure really really fast, and that's not as easy as as um, you might think it is. So let's go. So this used to be like you go to this these custom functions. If I ever export this as a framework, I will have I would have to to rename this a little bit better. Um, put this maybe into tools and then um, Schnetti framework or something. Schnetti parallax effect tool. Um, but let's go on. We don't have a refer reference point yet. Can we do one? Well, make one? No. Set up group. I think that's that's the one. So here here's the the point. This is the reference point that we will use. You see that I, mean, I need we need to, to be able to to see that clearly so I will make this quite big and what the, this does is it's a, the the reference where the um, what we are um, drawing right now will look exactly like we are drawing it on if we are uh, if the camera is in this position yeah, the camera is in this position. Everything that we draw will be just like we just like we we have drawn it here. But if you go left and right, <coughs> the parallax will start shifting everything. So we have this three-dimensional effect. The problem here is that sometimes they, it shifts a little bit too far, and then some stones get shifted. Outside of that that bo um, that box here, and it's visible to to the user, and that's something that you, the user shouldn't see. So we have to pay a lot of attention there. Um, that that things, if they are they are moving fast, are lo not looking janky. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, that's. I think it's this function here. Yeah, we have to, to do that with a group. So, we want to do this for the background. Yeah, okay. Amount of layers. Yeah, here in the cave, we don't need six layers, I think. Now let's just go with it. Let's just go with the default values. Let's go with the default values. Mm, maybe this is going to be a little bit darker. And now we can have to pick our brushes, so. We are, we are going to have mostly Dark and brown rocks. It's a good, good one. We we should not pick any bushes. Maybe maybe just 
rocks brown. Brown rocks. Also be nice. Pick this twi that twice. And maybe one with also grey rocks. Just have to make sure that um, brown rocks are always in there. And then we close with brown rocks. So, so this is a pretty boring setup. Just rocks. Yeah? Now we have this... Um, these... Uh, objects here that tell us um, how, how, how many layers we have and um, these are reference points how fast they, they, they will move. But it's, it's a little bit unintuitive um, to explain, to show the user how, how fast the, uh, um, the you, uh, layers will be moving. But it kind of shows you that each layer is going to, to have more speed um, than the, the layer before that. Um, let's go and make more. A second. Itch.
Okay, that way I saw. Um, ping pong balls just to play with the cats. Not sure if they, they will like it, but yeah. <laughs> Gonna try it, try it out. Hmm. No, let's let let's not cat food. Let's not cat food. No. No. Really problematic. <laughs> hmm. So it's nice to have the, the cats on, on the stream here and there, but they are not perfect. But perfection, strife of per perfection is for the weak. Or you just define weakness as part of perfection. That can be perfect. Or you say all those little faults, those little errors, they're part of the perfection in life. But if you don't do that and you strive for perfection, perfection is pretty much unachievable. Like, I can clean my room every week, and I do. And I really do it very well, better than most people. And I still say, see, now on my desk, there's a lot of cat hair. I can't clean that up every day. I don't have the time. Because then I, get, I will never get my game finished. Okay. Speaking of which, I have to get going. Foreground. So now it immediately detects that I want to to um, make a foreground making this even a little bit darker and then we can also start with this brush here And now trying to the, to open the 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 um, packaging of of the nuts. Uh, wow! I have the, the nuts in a package, and they really use their claws to open the package and eat the nuts. And I couldn't believe that. I thought, hey, it's a package, it's safe. And actually, actually, they they found out how to to open the packaging. You should maybe try to teach them more useful ta uh, stuff, like pressing a button, to, um, like the light switch. <laughs> but I'm I'm not really sure how I'm, if I will have the time to repeatedly try to to teach them that. So we, the, we have a mixed brush. Where we have um, a brush with minerals. And minerals are really, really interesting. But I think I want to draw them in um, um, manually. I, I don't think minerals um, should be spammed in there. Come on, let's we, we, are, we are just we have just been started. Let's just start and say the first area here is going to contain some kind of neutral color. Purple. The first area is going to contain purple um minerals. Like purple is um neutral color. Mace Windu used to have a purple lightsaber. As he mixed in the dark side and the light side. That's absolutely not made up. <laughs> okay, 
So now we should be able to draw already. We are, um, are not are not drawing. Oh, we are drawing. We are drawing. I think I messed up with the layer. Yeah, this has to be in front. Oh no, this is the background. Yeah, that's that's where it's messed up. In the background. And I messed up the, the layering of this background. So let's see. What is this background on? Background? No. This background. Not the camera. Not the fog. Come on, give me the background. Hintergrund. That's background, please. English, please. Yep. Background. And it has order in layer 5. Could be 0 or something. Does that change anything? Not really. Let's go through through these. Well, it has to be minus minus um, eighty or something, I think. So minus uh, eighty. So. Um, Minus, it's not goes that. Low. Minus sixty. It's because what some of the the um, bit draw draw them in here. That's automatically generated. This is the foreground. This is the first background. It starts so sorting with um, zero. And then goes back order in layer until 50 so this is why i put the background to um 60s you can just read the order in layer here order in layer oil yeah don't send me the americans now because i have oil here it's order in layer now you can just draw them in I know you. Uh, this kind of too much. Need to to place them deeper. Because I think they are a little bit too obnoxious. I don't think it's better like that. You can place place them there. Yeah, and then now I can rotate them. Somewhere. But I can. I'm pretty sure I can rotate them. I think that must should be the orientation. Let's put that to. Oh, we 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 can make make that random, but let's not do that. Uh, let's put in one hundred and eighty here. Now they should be upside down. Yep. So there's that. <laughs> Let's put this back to zero. <clears throat> so we have a lot of options, but we are not going to do that every time. And don't have the time to do that. Now we are 
going for the next layer and what we what we can do here is actually just pick this drawing tool do do this and then it will randomly place some of the stones and this will make it possible for us to um be really really fast with this with this tool set because you will have to do this approximately hundreds of times and if you don't use some kind of tool here you're not, not going to get, get anywhere i'm going to be the, a pain in the butt And you see, I, I just go there, um, back and drop. Hope that they, it spawns in some stones in a reasonable, reasonable, um, position. Let's do this one more time over here. Hope that it looks good. And then let's just go on with the foreground. Now the foreground is a little bit more tricky, as you can see. Yeah. Now these rocks are not moving. The first one, um, I think I will have to close my emails because that's private. Okay, give me a second, I have to close some stuff here. Okay, now I don't have anything to hide. To be to be honest, there's nothing of interest. Um, but um, just for as a principle for people who maybe do have some naughty stuff in there. <laughs> um, so just to, to uh, so they don't have to be ashamed to to put to close close their their stuff there. This is a principle. You shouldn't show it, so don't. It's just like with your money, with um, personal information in general. Don't just don't just spread it out and say, "Hey, I have nothing to hide." Um, it's not about that. There's always people who can pick something out. It's absolutely not important and uh, try to um, get angry about that. Why? Why do you get as much, uh, so much money? Or why do you why do you only work that and that and that many hours when you could work X um, hours more? Why did you sleep that much on that day? You can <laughs> people people can can pick up the, uh, things by random, which are absolutely unimportant, and mock you for that. And on the other side, there's also there's also real threats from people like um, Chinese Chinese government. What they do is they go in and try to to find knocky stuff on the phones of chinese people really do that and then if they find that they can if th that person is saying anything against the government they have something against them yeah and they they are where, like hey uh you have a boyfriend but we we, we have these pictures of you with another guy yeah, that's that's dirty, but it actually happened in in Berlin. Um, so 
and something that that you normally wouldn't think of in, when you, uh, when it comes to internet security. And the average ha hacker is maybe hacking the uh, girl, uh, the the um, phone of the um, office wannabe girlfriend and looking for some naughty pictures there that he want, wants to see. Also that. Now there's people who are absolutely fine with that and some who aren't. And it's not it's it's not up to me to decide that. Like you don't have to to uh, show every information about yourself. Most of that is actually not important uh, that, that everybody knows about that. And those people who actually care about it uh, are uh, most of the time not trustworthy. Now I have an issue here. I have disabled random. I want, want to have this by random. And I also have to enable um, board chance, I think. That's messed up. I think the draw chance is not um, enabled. War empty cells after each something. So this draw empty cells is not, not being used right now. Why? So that I'm pretty sure it's not drawing every every sixth cell like it should. Yeah. And if you put this to 50%, that's definitely not 10% chance. 0% chance. No. Something is over -write writing this. That's unintuitive. Oh dear, now I have to, to work on this script again. And I'm really not <laughs> into that right now, but here we go. So I think this is um let's see template for that. I don't know. Let's just click one and see it, it's inheriting from mineral brush. I want to go to mineral brush. Yeah, and that is a random game object brush. So this is our writing some some, fu some functions here. Set scene cell. Okay, um, I'm going to to look in that very shortly, but I'm going to make a quick dash to my bathroom.
Okay, yeah, I'm back again. <laughs> so, yeah, was also doing um, some other stuff. Got me myself some tea and um, took care a little bit of, of some cat stuff. Um, whatever, let's go on. So, we are avoiding the main draw function here in the middle rush. And it could be that the, the, this function has been uh, written before we uh, had the um, functionality to draw um, the, the, the cell count. Okay, now I don't really know and care about all the other stuff that is going here, on here. So close, close all the other tabs now. And let's go into this render brush. Enter the go to the declaration. And let's see this field uh, field. Uh, and we are going to just look where it, it is used. I do do it with um, with uh, control F just the default search you can also click on that and find its usage as it's not important but if you click on it and find its usage it it, it, it feels like you're you're doing it more like bro well, it's actually not doing it. it's it's not a different <laughs> at least in this case <clears throat> okay so this is this is set scene cell yeah, uh, that is a uh, set scene cell, virtual void, and here in this case, set scene cell has been overwritten and does not even use these values. So these draw chance mode um, values here, they're not um, used. So I think they have been added in later. Yeah, that's a little bit hard because I'm putting this in here again. And now it doesn't know. Um, can I just make this protected? Yeah, yeah, okay, I have to... I have to to make these variables protected so that, that they, I can inhabit uh, um, um, find them when I inherit them just from private to in uh, protected would public public would all also uh, help or internal yeah I'm not sure uh, exactly how what internal is doing but there, there's there's um, a list basically where you can just basically see um, or, um, depending on which mode you, you use, what kind of um, uh, access you have to a, vi a variable that you are inheriting from another class. Okay, so let's go on. And I'm going to pick up my nuts now. And my cats will immediately come. Oh, they don't come. I think the trigger is broken. Looks like a bug. Oh no, there, there she is. There she is. Hey, what took you so long? Do you want to say something here? Yeah. Do as you please, but don't touch the keyboard.
Now my, my cats give me a lot of joy and love. That's supposed to be good for my mental health, but it's also taking a whole lot of time. And um, yeah, I actually should focus a little bit more. Let's, let's draw again and see what happens after it compiles. And see if it's now working correctly. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's working. It's working. Yeah, that's that's how it's supposed to work. Now let's increase the empty cells. And oh, let's let's just give it broad chance mode. So we don't want to see a lot of these. It's also the. The color is not really overwritten, uh, and it's because their their material is basically making them very very shiny. So let's may let's maybe look at one of those. So there's nothing in here. Unless the outlines they have not been overwritten. Then there's the, the grayscale, and the grayscale has not been overwritten. It should be way darker here, and it's a that's something I need to fix. That's weird. But maybe, maybe it's also a function that is missing in the inhabitants. Or I did not press the button or write colors. Oh, I did. I, I did. I did. So here is there this section with over white colors. No, it's missing. So that's, that's really not good. The bad thing here is um, that um, I did some stuff here and had to rewrite the um this this does a little uh, stuff a little bit different and um i had to basically just rewrite the function uh, um just in the instant for the mineral brush because it has special spe special material and the material is glowing and there was a problem where i had to write uh, their own code here but i think the the code's Practice solution is very bad. That what what I, what I did there. Because any change that ha uh, that uh, happened in here, and not the other uh, then um, not done. A Taking over to this function, you have to basically put them over there. That's not that's bad. That's bad. Okay, we need to fix that ASAP. Yay! Another coding time. What I did I say? We are going to to draw today. The stream the stream title says it's a good day to code. Sometimes, sometimes it's hard. It's hard. You want to do stuff. You want to do stuff. And you have time pressure. I want to finish this game. I tell you, it's hard. And then you see that you, that you, are, you still have to code. Fix stuff. Rearrange code. But complaining won't help me. He fixed th this cup problem. Let's go. So let's first find what the fuck is is the problem here. What what the fuck is the problem? Yeah, I have no idea. Why why is there uh, this function overwritten? That scene cell. 
why can't we use the normal uh, random game object brush? And I think it's because... Yeah, it's this. Is it? Enable light. I want to be able to uh, enable the light of the um, minerals. Okay, that's one thing where I need to override this function right here. Oh, that that can only be done with minerals. So what's happening? Where where do we place that object? I think it, it places the object. And this is the old only override, so we don't have to to worry about other cases here. We can we can um, now decide to do this differently, and pretty much. This is going to be private. Private void. Okay. Now the mineral brush is saying, hey, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> I can't override this function, but it's fine. It's fine. We can just write in a function in here and say, hey, you can override this function. So we, 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 will, we will keep this whole code and it will be fine should be <clears throat> and i'm really a little bit too lazy to read all of this code right now oh, come on come on you can do it so here we instantiate let's let's see in the instantiation, there's a difference. Looks pretty much the same. I think they're, they're equal. Yeah, everything here seems to be equal. And then we have then this enable likes thing. Let's go on with override colors. Oh, the override colors is not in here. So we have this toggle and it will not do anything. Yeah, that, that, that's, that, that was the issue. Yeah, yeah, okay. And we also cannot make this a foreground object and the foreground object is a very special case to be honest um but we can basically here say in the end if you've done all of your stuff we can make a new function here and call it here let's call this function um Function do stuff. Um, we don't know what 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 this function will be doing. That's the problem. Um, do additional stuff i will just put it in there a function to override 
Um, for special cases, if you want a certain functions in um, classes that inherit inherit this class but don't do generic stuff yeah okay with, with the with the comment this is actually professional so protected virtual void do addition additional stuff and as a parameter it should need the, the game object and nothing else i think not yet we'll see Override this. Yeah. I think there might be even a better practice, but it's a good. It's okay. <laughs> if, if there's a better practice, it's not best practice. Can I call it? But not with digging too deep. That's at, uh, at least a way where it's dynamic because we if we if we do generic stuff uh, every class will inherit it but the additional stuff that only only um, the manual wash should be able to because uh, it has or liked or torches have a liked or you, whatever then the, the um we can add that in that override so The question is why would I need something else? Why do would I need to, to rewrite this in another way? I don't see that. I don't really see that. Um and it should it should actually then be um okay. So void do additional stuff. game object go and we immediately see that we can override this function it's not like here it says no suitable method to override yeah we can override this function and we don't really care about all of that and for now and we need need to to see that in in I think the the game object is the instance, and that's basically it. And then we just comment that that out for the moment. And this should essentially improve the. Um, uh coding pattern that we have there i'm a little bit sad because uh, that, that that is it was ever in there <laughs> like that there's the state but whatever we can't have nice things and now we see yay the new brush actually paints the minerals in a darker color the color that we assign it to here that's awesome. Let's go and hit play. Oh, looks good. It also feels good. If I'm standing here, I can see a little bit here to 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 the um, edge of the screen. That's not good. But aside from that, 
I really like that. They, you also see all those minerals that kind of, uh, which are kind of interesting in the environment. Yeah. Let's take a look at the top. And the top is also three dimensional, but it's not over the top. The background is moving. Everything is nice. Hey, I really like that. Later in the game, when when I was playing the game, you actually don't realize how much work has been uh, uh, has been put into into making it like this. Really, it's kind of really really interesting how um, generic it seems later when you play the game and you play through it you don't after some point you just don't see the ba those beautiful backgrounds anymore you don't see realize them anymore that's interesting that's really interesting and i don't want to say that's bad um that's just how st uh, the stuff goes just want to say um don't overweight that's like hey we, we've made a, a one area super defined and this is going to make the game that make everybody love the game no absolutely not making this is nice but it's not it's not that this will carry the game into another dimension now i have to uh, i have to first fix this area here and I also want to change one of those brushes. Let's go in the inspector and see where the information for the brushes are. Yeah. So I think the the uh, minerals are very interesting. And I want to, to have more purple uh, minerals. Minerals purple. Yeah. Because we use a lot of layers. We could, um, it actually is possible. To just mix in more of those uh, those um, crystals later on, yeah. And I and all I have to do is just go in there and change the name. Let's go and go to minus twenty and also make this into a minerals purple brush for now. <coughs> and minerals. Kind of just give it a little bit of touch like if you just have rocks yay you have rocks yay rocks so interesting such wow no minerals make it awesome So my first cup of tea today is finished. But I will still have to drink way more tea. Since I've been jogging, I really did a good job today. Um, started at my day at 8... 8.15. Put on my clothes, did go out, go jogging. Perfect, perfect. But now I need to drink a lot. And also, I did not just go jogging, I did jog three hours. So, would you. A, a tough decision. You know, it says something is not. We create a object index is zero. Hmm. That's odd. Okay, now let's skip that layer.
And also let's go into this layer here and delete this crystal. Because um, we have to make sure that if we, we come from this level, um, we don't see these crystals. And we have to make sure that it's not too cringy that if you load this level and suddenly there's crystals everywhere that it does it, I don't remember exactly the positions of the stones, but it would be cringy if um, the, the level would suddenly look completely different. So let's go on and um, see. There was a problem when the, the character was standing right there. Um, let's enable all, these, all of this. And when when the character was standing there, we couldn't we, we couldn't see the ground. That well, that is the problem. We can't have that. So we don't have a dynamic reference point yet. We can create one and put it over here. And what we can do do with this is put it over here and this is how the objects will look if we are standing on this position most of the time this tool is very powerful but the stuff we are doing is so mind-blowing that um, I'm often like, what, 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 what are we doing? How do we solve it? So now we have to make sure that objects that are over here, like that stone, which I don't find right now. Okay, I'm in the wrong layer. Are not blocking our vision. Should be should be somewhere over here. Oh, I think... Is it really one of those stones? Yeah, it's, it's that stone. That specific stone um, was blocking our path. Uh, vision. Vision. Yeah. And we kind of have to make sure that we can always see the ground. That's kind of a rule. We always have to see the ground. Um... This is visual stuff that's great, but if we if we spawn in things and uh, that um, block important information, it's not good. We never block inf um, important information. Important inf information is more vi is more important than visuals because it's, because it's important. Important. Information is important. Yay. <clears throat> so you could say, but visuals are important too. Now we can talk. <laughs> Hmm. So uh, how do we argue with that? I would just say, yeah, but visuals are not as important as the ground, um, as seeing the ground correctly. And I just hit the trigger, and now one of my cats is in front of me. Hey! <laughs> and so, they really get triggered. 
when I open um, my my box of nuts. Okay, now um, let's just go on. Can just go on, no problems here. So the good thing about this this kind of tool, my tool is so powerful. Whether my my tool is not perfect because I don't know something seems off. I feel I feel like these um, functions should be maybe in an inspector with uh, some nice buttons. Now that's yeah. And then if you click this um, group here, then it should well then then it should open one big window that asks you that like you you can basically toggle all of your settings. And it clicks through them like I do now, like I now press enter, 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 enter. Should be one big window, and then I could publish actually publish it. So the functionality it's there. It's just I have to to kind of um, play with the visual stuff a little bit, but and that's something for later. Hey Miri, want, want to eat my nuts? No, that's not healthy cat food, sorry. But I eat your normal food. <clears throat> okay. So, obviously um, my cat is trying to eat nuts right now, but... Yeah. They stay in the box. So now is um, one time where I will see when I'm coming from this level, entering this this um, zone here, I will load note the next level. Now I have to look back how the ground is looking in this level. Okay, it is like that. Also, the background is different. Okay. So I will will kind of just emulate that that background. I will not not copy paste it one uh, one to one. But what I can can do is actually, and just click the background. Oh no, select the background. I th I don't think it. Oh yeah, no, no, it should work. I, and copy it to to the other um, map so that they look kind of equal. Like you go through from to this zone here, and then the ne next level will load. Now this is a <laughs> this is a boss fight. This is why this is a different level. Okay, and we are just going to put this somewhere. Uh, let's just put. Put this in this cave map even though no that, that's not using um squares it's using with rectangles and it's grid i don't like that let's put let's just copy it in there so what we want to do is press edit copy this and put it in here now i did not copy the whole thing we try again Okay, now put it in here. Okay. Now we go to the another to to the the next level. Um did I even do anything? I don't think I did anything in here. Now you see the the environment here is different. 
So what we want to do, we don't want to edit right now. Is we we um, pick up all of this. It's a little bit unfortunately because I have to guess here. Go to the background layer. Pick the default brush. Now we should be able to 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 paint. But we we are. On. Let's try that again. Mm, it seems it doesn't like that I'm doing this outside of the screen. Okay, here we go. So we want to replace all of this. Hmm. Well, first we have to say erase. Then we don't know the, the exact position. Ah! <sighs> How do we do this? So you see, there's there's um position, this position. I think this is the right position. And basically I'd want to replace everything in here. But I can't just click because I'm essentially too lazy to clean up those little gaps. So if I keep in mind that the where my mouse is here, and then delete exactly at that position and paint it in again, that should be essentially the same. Okay, save some time using your brain. It's hard. It's possible. Ah, the pain. <laughs> no. Um, now, unfortunately, it sorted my 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 custom time maps um, in a weird way. Let's um, hide all of them. And they are out of there, and let's show them again. And damn it, I, I thought that that would maybe sort them again. So what I wanted to have is have them in a nice list. Now, I don't know why it, why it put that, um, them in in such a weird order. And this is not done alphabetically, and it's also not the hierarchy um, order. Because in the in the hierarchy, they they are um, um, sorted somehow. Let me let me see how are they sorted? Yeah, they, um, yes, they they're sorted like this background, and then you have all these um, layers here. And I don't know how does Unit sort this these um, time maps? It looks random. Like how are people supposed to find their stuff like this? It's really a problem because it's um, that's uh, I want to work with this, and I need I want I want just want to click here and do my stuff, and now they are they are unsorted. I need to I need to really make a function now to 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 sort that. What the fuck, Unity? Well, there's nothing more than I can do here. Uh, that I can do here. I can. Then I press this. This is disabling all those time maps here. And if I press show, it's enabling them again. And now they're still not sorted. That's. Fucked. Okay. Still not finished recording. Still going to do it. Oh, 
but it's okay. We have we have to if we, if we if we make this tool to release it. Actually, I think there's, there's probably a guy who did it better. Let who did that get better? Let's just look. Unity parallax effect to the wall. Yeah. I had to enable cook cookies for that. So yeah, there's of course a tool for for for, for backgrounds and individual stuff, but I don't think that there's a framework that that does all of uh, that does it. The same way that I do. It's really hard to 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 do. Too deep, parallax. Come on, I've written it correctly. Yeah, let's just look at this. Oh, nice! Yeah. Oh, wetted. <clears throat> um, I see. I mean, I, I'm looking into this for technical reasons. Flare engine, two D tools. Object. And look, it looks good for now because it looks like nobody is doing what we do. Like they all, are, they are all using one background and not using um, objects. And what what I'm clicking here, it looks like. These could be objects, but I think these are also um, backgrounds. Just one image that you then then just shift. And we use both of the techniques, actually. So... This also looks interesting, and that. Pretty much. I'm not through yet. I'm not through yet. Let's keep scrolling. But I, for, for now, I'm the only one who who does that. So we could really sell this for a good price, um, because basically every, everybody everybody um, at some point is doing a parallax background. But it seems like you no know, no one came to the idea to to do this with objects. Maybe because it's really a headache to, to do, but if you don't have have much time to 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 draw, um, or if you want to just want objects, have a really powerful tool for objects. Yeah, well, 
I probably have the best solution for this. Probably. Let's see. So he's spawning in ob objects too. And that's very, very generic. Okay. But it, it often looks like these are objects. These are images. Those are Im images. So from, from what I see here and can read, um, I can see something at all. These are individual images and have been put in there, there by... I think these, these have been put in there by hand. Oh, this is also an, an image. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, but the, the, this is also image. You only use images and... Um... From a quality perspective, it's not bad, but from, from a technical perspective, nobody does um, use the brush that I uh, I created there. And probably it's a good idea to just put it down there in the asset zone, store so. <clears throat> I'm not even hoping to make any money, to, to be honest. I'm not even hoping a lot of people will buy my stuff there. Actually, if a lot of people buy my stuff, it will be like, hey, I need a, I have a change request on my MacBook Pro. It is et cetera. It, this and this function is not working. And then I have to look into that and say, hey, on Windows, it's not happening. But it works on my PC. It works on my PC. <laughs> And um, now, uh, pro uh, probably it's going to be like, how do I use it? Yeah, so I will have to make a tutorial for my tool. Um, yeah, my, very positive um, that that for me um, that that there's that there I actually can put something out there in the world for the first time. That no one created and where I can really say, hey, it's a, it has a use. Yeah. <clears throat> so all the pain give me gain in oh what I, did i say i don't care about the money <clears throat> i don't care about the money it's okay i don't need money i don't have any bills um now i know now i'm procrastinating okay real thing that i wanted to to google is Why does the tile palette drop down? Active act, active time drop down. Unity sort active tile map drop down. <coughs> now I think we can do that. And this is very good. First threat, 2018, so it's not not that too far away. Now the the threats from 2011 often are obsolete. Out of two reasons. First of all, I have the feeling that just many things are um, have are done um, differently today, have been optimized, and that they rewrote a lot of the of the code in Unity to essentially work better and. It does. Unity is more stable than when I started to work with Unity nowadays. It's more stable. Um, and um, 
I also have the feeling that that people are getting better at coding. And that's also something very positive. But I think people are getting better with coding. Oh, I have one thing. I have to look into my microphone. Um, last time somebody said that my microphone is not working correctly. So I'm going to to, to listen to my own stream for a second. I'm going to, to, to listen to my own stream for a second. Okay, looks fine. I think last time OBS was um, bugging out. Okay, so we, ha we are inside of unity forum right now um it's a little bit disgusting that it uses the the bright skin that's important we can't have that can we set that to dark as important i can't work like that really and yeah that's pretty much nothing it sets it sets it to dark Actually, I shouldn't uh, show personal information. <clears throat> you didn't see that. Okay, um, let's go up. We want to reorder the tile maps how they are inside of this list here. Yeah. So first of all, we we can continue reading, but before we do that, we have to we have to think. Hey. We need to do get this inside of this custom function somehow. So let's go on and look into the editor scripts. And here it is. Here are all of my functions. Oh, um, I don't need this anymore and delete that. Good. Put this somewhere. Nice. Okay, now let's read the code here. That's not it. I think this is the main code. Yeah, I think this is the main code. Yeah, I've ordered this. These are actually um, th thousands of lines of code. Um, make, let's make a new region. Or can we can we maybe put this inside of of one of those regions? First, making a region region for just one function is kind of bad. Or menu functions? No. Show information. Could be under show tile maps. Okay, let's. I don't know. It's we don't. Because show the, the show tile maps is really. Sh sh with the position of the tile maps and then we have something in the um, inside of the tile palette grid at uh, grid brush editor and we sort the active tile map it's kind of does not fit in any region hmm. so how do we sort this I don't want to make a new region, no. <laughs> but there's also the auto brush pick, uh, however, which is also, also, this should be in, which also is brush, uh, um, function for the tile palette. Okay, so let's 
may, maybe make a new region now if we can put two functions inside and we can absolutely justify to make a new region for this so file uh, palette functions yeah and then we can put put these inside style palette yeah i have written that right and the auto brush pick is going out of this region and this is going to be this region is then just the initial in variables and initialization in it in <laughs> it initialization and let's see there's one function And then there's this generic function there. Oh, I, and I I could couldn't uh, get this to work. Yeah. So this is also something. If I ever want to to publish this, um, I need need to take care of this function there. So this is why there's still a to do. Because I still I I had in mind that I could uh, maybe later on publish this as its own unique framework Uh, she's she's more complicated you have to to be a little bit more uh you have to really really kind of get get him which sometimes she's really into into just um uh i think a rough and she she just um pushes her ha her head then in against your hand and she really likes it if you just wrap her really and sometimes Sometimes she absolutely hates it though. Um, if she's a little bit scared or not, if if she feels unsecure. So you kind kind of have to test out in in what kind of mood she is. <clears throat> so, Matt. <clears throat> Let's go on and make the new function. Now I'm going to look into the. How do we do these? Okay. We have this menu item. What's up? Now Luna just sat down my lap. I can't move the camera right now so you can't see her, unfortunately. She's really into cuddling today. Sometimes she's really like a teddy bear. On the other side, she's really strong. She's absolutely 
She could absolutely be a monster if she, she wanted to be. Fortunately, um, she's getting very, very well along with me. I don't have any scratches on my hand, even though I'm doing a lot of stuff with them. Oh, she's licking my hand for the first time. Never does that. I think they, she, they are getting nervous because I'm ta talking and <laughs> How am I supposed to code like this? Well, I guess it's not not that bad. Now this is a little bit of procrastination. Not lying there. It's petting my cats. I could throw, throw her down now. But I think she's not going to stay for a long time. So I'll just deal with that. No. Nine. Now I can move the camera. There she is. And she's really licking my hand. So I don't know. She's also licking herself right now, so maybe she's she thinks, uh, hey, let's also clean this guy. He's petting me all the time. Uh, this is my life right now. <laughs> Sitting here, petting my cats, it's wonderful. Uh, she's she's leaning against my hand right now, and really pushing her, sa her, her head against it. <laughs> the only thing is petting here now. Uh, I can feel her spit, <laughs> but it's no problem. It's a human thing to think that's disgusting. Get a cat thing. I don't know how how it is um, in the sci scientific part. If cat spit is full of bacteria, I think it's. Kind of clean. Now there, off she goes. Yeah. Now I, I'm not going to take her back on my lap. Would be kind of um, uh, rude. No, she she basically. I think she's looking for a good place to um, put herself to. Yeah, uh, she doesn't know what to do. A little bit bad. Yeah, but I'm going to play with them after the stream, because I can't can't have my uh, cats to be bored all all of the time. I think being bored is not a bad thing. I think. If you are as a human being bored, especially as an uh, adult, that's a very good thing. <laughs> because out of the boredom, um, you get time to think about the most important things in your life um, that you normally just try to grind um, about and maybe rearrange and reorder things so you can do them more effectively. That's why I think 
bottom is really really good because then you maybe take a different approach to things because you have the, that kind of distance that um, helps you um, seeing it from a different perspective something that not a lot of people can do actually and um, not going to lie that I'm re I'm um, good at that so first uh, um, let's go over here custom functions um, now since this is only one time it's going to be its own um, <coughs> button <coughs> now later I say this might be in, in, like, in an expector um yeah so how do we name this damn it why why do we have um questions that are that hard i'm too i'm not good enough to, for that how do we name this function it doesn't help me either why do i have cats they don't have me help me code at all Miri, how do we name this function? Come on, I give you tweets. Ah. Pets. Okay, now, now, now let's be serious. So this is um, reorder. We order um, active file palette. Yeah, and order active tile. Uh, Palette. Um, no space allowed. Function. And then we have this uh, this guy from Unity that basically tells us how to do that. And I don't know. Just copy paste it. Inhabits from Grid Brush Editor. They could. Okay, 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 okay. I wanted to copy paste it, and then then I was reading what it actually does, and <laughs> this is um, what the fuck? Why does it? Okay, it replaces the default brush, and would sort the active target list by alphabetical order when using this brush. So basically, and um, this is function that allows you to also make another custom brush which is which is kind of okay it's nice another brush i also use my own brushes here no problem and you click that br but first of all why do you replace the default brush which is the most important brush and make your own for that and that brush if you pick that you will click that and then it's going to sort the active tile map What? What? Okay, no other code snippings here. But why would you do that like that? So he makes this own alpha sorted brush. Yeah. If we need really need a brush for this, come on. Oh, come on, is there really no other way? Uh, come on, let's let, let's try to Google more. 
Maybe there's a newer threat. At least, don't see any. I want to know if they added the function somehow. And you see, what, what they actually do is not that complicated. Overcome valid targets. So I guess they they um you need to do this with a custom brush because because only then you have access to the function inside of the tile palette. Oh. That's not good. That's not good. I don't. I don't want to to replace one of my brushes here. It's, um, I I would be fine to to add another brush. I think we can code this to to just add another brush, but we cannot use um our fuel our um own um script here, which is uh, inheriting from model behavior. But we would have to basically make a new script. Which kind of makes it a little bit bad because um, I would like to have all of the functions in here. And the, the problem with that is not that I'm not just too lazy to basically just make another script. Um, the technical reason for this is it should be like that. It absolutely shouldn't, shouldn't be like that. You should be able to access this um, active time map without inheriting a, a grid brush. And we actually can access it. We can access it. We do. We do access it in this function here. This function here. We are doing this by ourselves. Fuck that guy. We are going to do that by ourselves and we are doing it better. Uh. Yeah. So. We have this grid painting state, which calls this um, scene paint target change. If we change our tile map here, if we select anything, you can see that you, uh, I um, changed my brush here. In this way, uh, and this is because we are listening to changes to the active tile parrot. So we had, we do have access to the active tile map <coughs> outside outside of in brushes so having to inherit brushes seems absolutely stupid <coughs> so what are they, are they doing then all right game object valid targets get var ver, some kind of variable that they don't specify which is back back coding practice um base valid target sort that array somehow and return I think this description is wrong. He's not replacing the default brush. There's no, um, there's no uh, reference to the default brush. This is not replacing the, the default brush. This is adding another brush. It's just, it's just. You know what? Let's just create this C sharp script. Script. Um, and actually have to see what kind of name it should have.
Okay, let's destroy that again. And let's create it again. And now we should have this script, the correct name, assigned to it. Good. Okay, now let's just copy all of our code in here that we have found and we should hopefully just immediately be able to use this. Um, there are some missing imports. Yeah, but this should now, let's just see what it does. Hopefully it will not de delete all of our brushes, that would be weird and it does replace the uh, brush and now this is sorted alphabetically oh it's really replacing the default brush and now we have, we have our sorting again now this is uh, sorted alphabetically nice but can we do this without without um sorting and without um creating a new brush <clears throat> so we don't need um we don't need this anymore there's no more information about this or or is there So th this has been added into Unity that you can access it. So this is old and obsolete code. We are not doing this. Um, and it has been released 2018-3. And then 20, uh, 2021. You can do that in the editor edit preferences grid brush file palette and there should be some some way to ah here we can set it to alphabetical non-alphabetical okay if i would have known that that would have been nice so we don't need to create our own function and all of the um everything that we did in the last half an hour um was basically is basically obsolete now so this doesn't need to be in a region now this region only has has um one function but it's okay because the at least at least it's um the the region is correct let's maybe let me just copy this region and put it here yeah and it would be it would be nice it would if it would not just open itself up uh <clears throat> okay so would have been nice to to know that now he here we have somebody who also wrote this function And gives you more power how to to um, uh, reorder them. And I don't understand what the, what he does. <laughs> So here, here we he goes into the grid painting state. Okay, now now I get a clue. 
Quit painting state. Picks the valid targets and just order orders them. That's basically all 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 we need. I don't know what what the 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 way uh, the rest of this does. It circles style maps by their transform sibling order. Okay, works perfectly for a simple hierarchy. If you have a complex hierarchy, you might want to adjust that. Okay, that's actually very nice. So the problem can be that that if you have a lot of time maps and they are all named like um time map then how do we how are we able to 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 know um in which kind of group they belong because if we order alphabetically uh, alphabetically then we will not be able to tell if time uh, time map s o one um o i l zero which will be in here maybe twice or ten times um which which one uh, uh, we are working on right now and which one we actually want to use and yeah that would be kind of nice to to have so this what what, what he does is he sorts them by the order in the the, the, the order in in the hierarchy the hierarchy yeah okay so do we want this function hey let's just try it out I don't know why we would need to open the next tile map. Ah. So this doesn't order the, the, the valid targets at all. It doesn't change them. You are in the hierarchy here, like the, like here, and then you press that button, and you will go up or uh, down or up, up or down, depending on which which uh, menu you click. So basically, this is useless for us if we just copy and paste it, but we can adjust it. So. I want to do this. Oh man. We already have functions. It's kind of a redundant if we implement this. It will, it will take us some, some time and if I have more time I will would do it. And I want to publish this as a framework. Fuck. Th that's the point where we are, it would, would be nice to have. Maybe just copy paste it in there and leave it to do for later. You can do this. It's not the problem, it's just costing us time. So let's you know what? Let's let's just put this in our default function here. Maybe reverse. Uh or maybe not reverse just put it in here does it have to be static yes make this private as you
Uh, don't make it private. Why? Yeah, I want to know the reason why we can't make this private. Yeah. Okay. I'm missing a reference. Why can't we make this private? In local function declaration. This is a local function? Oh yeah, okay, we, we, we are defining this inside of another function. Good that I made it private. Because I, there were, would have been a chance that I would not see that. So one one bug less that we will have to find. <laughs> I have made, made all this, these functions here static void, I guess. Don't know the reason for that. Normally I, I always tend to, to define the um, accessibility of any function. Because I just think it's a good practice to always know where, how, how um, the accessibility rights are uh, distributed. Okay, let's go on. We don't have much time left. <clears throat> no, so let's just make a menu option for this. For this, I'm just going to put this line of code here, put it inside. And now we have to say, um, reorder act active tile map. Tile map active tile uh, palette and let's just hard code this move is going to be one so I think now it will go up and let's not look into in the into this any further. Let's just try it out. And spoiler, it doesn't do what we need. It it just gets us uh, gets us one step further into the right direction. So don't see the function here. Did it compile? And there's some warnings from an obsolete, obsolete script. Assets editor cross platform edit. Yeah, I think these are, this is an obsolete script. I removed it one one time already. That's that's why I just delete it. Um. That warning is a little bit more interesting. Just to calculate time with template center position as invalid parameters. Uh, we have to, to find calculate. Let's get rid of that warning real quick. Calculate tile. What? It's a, the, 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 the name of the whole class. Okay. So, it's invalid. 
Parry meters. Menu command is the only uh, support. This is the only optional supported parry meter. What? Okay, we 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 also you use to initialize this class. And I think this says no parameter is invalid. What the fuck? Mm. Huh. No idea <laughs> what it wants for me. So yeah, so th this is an invalid parameter. I don't understand. May may maybe it's because I also see that that um, the new function that we ad just added. It's, uh, it's not added in the, the menu. Maybe it has to do something with that. Custom functions, reorder, active tile pal palette. Custom functions, reorder, active type palette. Can't find the dirty here. That's weird. That's odd. It should be there. But it isn't. Okay, let's first um, paint some stones here in the background. So we can kind of um, finish with that. Save the, the Save the level. So this workflow is really easy, it's really nice. Oh, okay, there this spawns in um minerals. And I think you, you could see the light through all of the um through all of the, the layers it's not correct ah and those what are those okay we have to redo this and specifically tell and these have to be even further in the background <laughs> So the first layer we want to work with is this one and it should be in minus 61 or something something lower than 60 so let's just say minus 61 and now the stones are behind the background and let's do this with the others too Just add five each time. Sixty-six, seventy-one. So now they they are really in the back, and you can see that this this light here, it's not behind the other obst obstacles. That's a problem. Okay, let's pick pick that um, object. There it is, and it has a light. Now, can we put this into the background? Not really. You can say, "Hey, don't run on the on the map." Fortunately, we don't see that in how it is in the game later. Oh, so it's 
let's see if the, we have the option to to put this into another um layer no we don't have the option to put this into another layer so we have to disable lights if we are working in the background with crystals then they sh cannot have lights it's bad but i can't, can't do anything about that really i wish i could but i don't know know how they they either have to be in the foreground and very far in the background uh, foreground but for them to not render on objects that are in front of them we don't have the function technology isn't there yet Actually, I would expect Unity to provide us with some some sort of function that does that. And the only thing that we can do is um, the target sorting layers, but <clears throat> uh, edit the target sorting layers so that this does not render in the background or the map, but what we actually want to do here, we want to have this render in the background. Um, we don't want this to render on the map or units. And the first thing that we see here is I don't see a difference. Oh yeah, no, yeah I, in the game, if you pay attention to this area, then you can see a difference. But I can't. I I I essentially cannot cannot edit um that it, it's like is in front of those stones and i don't have enough time to essentially every time we put in the crystal to move that that light bulb here to um an area where the, it, the light would be coming from so this is the center of the crystal but now the, the light would, would be shining over those uh, stones. And even worse, those stones, they are moving with the character, with the parallax, parallax effect. So forget it. It's not the solution. I, kinda, I, I wouldn't even know a, um, a solution how to program this. It would be incredibly hard. God damn it. Everything we do has limitations. Maybe. Okay. This is the first time I, I actually search for an asset. Let's go through the asset store unit. Maybe there's a framework that does that, but I doubt it. Light to the sorting layer. And what the fuck happened? Light to the sorting layer. Layer. And I didn't get nothing. Oh yeah, I, I, I was just a little bit irritating, uh, irritated. Um, because it didn't find anything, but um, looking at um. um the results i didn't 
I think it f looks in inside of the description description so yeah it also have some kind of sorting layer inside of the search algorithm and looks gorgeous I would really love to to write my own lightning. Then again, I, again, I can forget making a game. And I just want well, to be honest. I'm just really impressed by the visuals right now, but I don't see the the the, the functionality. Well, the important thing is. It's not doing what what we want. Yeah, those, those lights. Yeah, they're they're basically just lightening the uh, environment. Yeah, and drawing shadows. But what we care about is. Um, Oh, that was all of them. Um, what we care about is uh, having them in different sorting layers. <laughs> okay, so forget it. Damn it. That's a t technical limitation that we just just saw there, and kind of sad. But I don't don't know how to solve this. Basically, you can I can just wait until like 2D maybe will give us the uh, function uh, that we need for that. But it's not that we um, can get this as a nice thing that just works. And essentially that means in the background I will have to disable. I will have to disable lightning for um, any objects that move there. Because what if the, the, the what happens if the crystal moves behind this background here? This is also on the background layer, so the light will just shine through it and it will never look right. It will al always look stupid. It's unrealistic it uh, it doesn't doesn't make any sense and unless it uses that position okay let's make one last test just pick up this this brush here Oh, wrong brush. Um, minerals. Let's draw a mineral. Let's um, edit this. Let's pick a mineral out of this. And say you're in minus 61. Uh, which which one was the the layer which did draw minerals? It's uh, this one. Okay, minus sixty one and draw a mineral. Now the problem here is if I move this mineral, and it does move because it's a parallax effect. It will just keep lightening the environment and I can't have that. So I need to rely on its bloom completely. 
It, and it does have bloom, so... Whatever. <clears throat> now why is this in front of this stone? Oh, this this stone is in layer 61. Yeah, okay. Let's draw in another crystal. And put it actually in, in into a background layer, which is not in front of everything, but in between. Now, let's take the 2D light and change its Z position and see what happens. Okay, let's change the Z position of the stone. And of this stone. Should be minus three. And let's put this to minus seven. Interesting. I think the problem here is that it's not. Uh, now it's completely fucked up. <laughs> okay. I think the, the, the light is now behind the background. So let's disable the camera for now. Which all, all, also um, has the um, background as a child. Okay, I think, yeah, okay, now there's no camera. And what does happen if I move the down uh, mineral. Sorry for wrong term. Now it's just janky. No, I think I think it doesn't work. I think it, it actually just doesn't work. disable the background for a moment because the, the, the background essential is in front of the light right now when we put the Z position to something that is not um, zero see the game no, it does not emit light can hit plate but I think this will not emit light now, even though we should see light. Now, the light that you see here, that's just blur. That's not the 2D light. So it just doesn't work. It's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate one. Kind of have to, to accept it. So you go out. <clears throat> Let's I'll just reverse a lot of things. Um, I want to reverse the changes in in, in uh, the Z position. Okay, there we go. Reverse that. 
And then we can decide what to do with this mine well. And, that, and then that's it for today. Because I need to get going. Hmm. I'm also hungry. Nuts are fine and such, but I need real food. Okay, so for the, the background, we can just disable the light. Um, by, I think we can, yeah, just toggle them, and then they won't have any lighting. The entire palette, you actually can, can, um, have the option here to not draw any lighting. Here, enable light, you can just put that off, and if I draw now, what? <laughs> If I draw now, it doesn't have any lightning. Why, why did one of those have lightning? Okay, it looks like some of those lights have not been found. What the f... So how does this work? It just disabled uh, the light. But not in that case. Oh dear. <clears throat> so let's find out is this specific or not. Let's put it's a disabled door chance mode. Looks like this will never have lightning on. Also this. Damn it. This has lightning on one time. Yeah. The first purple vi variant did not disable the light. So if I keep drawing this, okay, I can draw this this um, prefab here forever. It will not have any light. It seems to be specifically only be happening with number four. But it's hard to re reproduce. What the fuck? Now it it works every time. So maybe it's not number four. So what is it? Now it works perfectly. Fine. And then here we have one instance where it just did not disable the lightning. Great. And it's not it's a bug and we don't know how to repro reproduce it. Yeah? That's ah That's horrible. Okay. So next time might be um Going into that <laughs> into that again because enable light that toggle has to work. It has to work now. I, th I initially thought, hey, maybe it's just um, a generic function that you want to provide people, but I am I'm not using by yourself. But since we have problems with 
lightning in the background, we actually need that function. Aside from that, you can save here and exit the game. So, thank you for tuning in so far. Um, it has been a pleasure. We have done a lot of progress, uh, fixed some bugs and tried out new functions and saw how to so um, how we can can sort the tile palette no no there's a function for that but we haven't imp uh, implemented it so far but now i need to eat and after that i will will um, will, will be off um i wish you have um a wonderful great weekend and i'll probably um, be back tomorrow evening but i don't know yet um, i don't know yet um so hopefully i will be back and i hope you have a wonderful day enjoy your weekend goodbye